Today I'm going to show you how to fix a croaky or a raspy voice in under 60 minutes. And in fact, by the end of this video, your voice will already sound clearer. And you can use these simple techniques over and over again to keep your voice at a professional level. Hi, I'm Elisa James, your online voice coach. Let's get started. Exercise number one steam to relax and hydrate the vocal vaults. Now this exercise is actually really handy for asthma sufferers as well because some people report that the asthma sprays make our voice go a bit croakier from using the inhalers. Now myself as an asthma sufferer, I know that this is true. It really messes with my vocal folds. So when I showed one of my students who was also an asthmatic, these three ways to steam, it really helped her reduce her inhalation of the asthma sprays. Make sure that you check with your GP or asthma specialist before you reduce your asthma medication. Steaming helps the voice recover faster from damage and inflammation. Let me show you three ways that you can steam. Number one, the old fashioned pot method. All you have to do is fill the pot with hot boiling water only to half. Make sure you place it on a flat surface, put a towel over your head and then breathe in through your mouth. Now, of course, if you have a cold and you're blocked up here, you can breathe in through your nose. But for the sake of this exercise for voice recovery, we need to breathe in through our mouth. Now, the second way to steam is with a cup. Say you're on tour or you're away from your home and you don't have a pot. Well, most places have a coffee cup. A takeaway cup will do. Again, put hot boiling water into the cup and simply hold your hand on the other side and breathe the hot air straight into your vocal folds. The same applies here. Don't get too close because you don't want to burn your vocal folds or your mouth or your face. The third way is with an actual personal steam inhalation device. Now the bottom of mine is broken, so I can't show you that, but this is the top. The same thing applies. Put the hot water in here, put the cap on, and then if we're dealing with the vocal folds, only breathe in through your mouth. It helps to plump up the cells of the strained vocal folds and actually increases flexibility and promotes healing. It puts that moisture into the whole throat area and makes you feel so much better. Try steaming five to 10 minutes multiple times a day. This will really help calm and lower the inflammation over the vocal folds. Now, by the way, I have a downloadable guide on caring for and warming up your voice properly. So check the link in the description below to grab yourself a copy. Let's move on to exercise number two, straw work. Straw work is used to help activate the correct respiratory muscles. There are three different ways to do straw exercises. One with no sound, two with a sustained sound and three with sirens. Let me show you all three exercises. The first thing you need to do is grab a bottle of water and a straw. I have a reusable straw. Now here you're going to stick it in the water and you're going to put one hand on your tummy muscle to track the movement of the belly. Then you're going to take a nice deep breath in and blow for 10 seconds. Do it with me if you have a straw and a bottle. And if you're going to do this exercise, remember to drink some of the water first so you don't drown. Let's try that again. Take a breath in and blow for 10 seconds. When you're doing this correctly, you should be able to feel your abdominal muscles moving in towards the spine. This exercise really strengthens your respiratory muscles. It's brilliant for singers and speakers alike because remember, airflow powers the sound. Now, let's do it with sound. We're just going to sustain for about five to seven seconds a single note, any note that feels easy for you. Now again, you'll feel that that works your respiratory muscles really hard, but it doesn't feel hard on the vocal folds at all. Let's move on to exercise number three with the straw. We're going to go up the scale and down the scale. 
really gently and really slowly. If you're doing it right, the bubbles will stay consistent the entire exercise. Now the benefits of singing or speaking through a straw, it's called straw phonation. This is an incredible vocal technique that helps your muscles build efficient coordination and balance, which for you means more freedom, more range, more stamina, and more flexibility in your voice. And it helps your voice recover from fatigue much faster and so much more. Do these exercises for five to seven minutes at a time, morning and evening, no more. Exercise number three, descending straw sirens. This is super important if you have a croaky voice from vocal fatigue. Please do this exercise only in a descending scale. That is going from high to low. I'll tell you why in a moment. Now, many people do lose their voice from speaking with too much tension, especially in the lower speaking and singing range. For example, when I had nodules over 30 years ago, I couldn't even do this exercise. I could barely get past an F4 on the piano. So after weeks of practicing this exercise, I actually got my voice back. It works beautifully. Let me show you how. We're going to again grab our straw. Now this time, we're going to do a descending siren using the tummy as our power source, of course, softly and gently all the way down like this. Now make sure you don't have a straw that's too thin or too thick because it might be a little trickier. Just a normal drinking straw will be fine. Let's try it again a little bit higher. And one more, a little bit higher still. Every time you do this exercise, try to get a little bit higher and a little bit lower every single time. The siren bubbles will stretch your vocal folds and warm up your range. Another great benefit for speakers and singers is that the siren bubbles actually prevent your voice from cracking or breaking as you move from one register to the next. Now don't go too high or too low too soon. Listen to your body and do them gently and softly and try to expand your range week by week. Exercise number four is another siren, but this one is on an NG. Say the word sing. It's the NG at the end of that word, sing. So you're going to do a giggle first like this, or a surprise breath. <gasps> Ah, oh, surprise party, thank you so much. When you do a surprise breath or a little giggle, it opens the throat muscles and keeps them away from the vocal folds. Now you're going to do the NG downwards, remember? Because downward sirens help you unload the tension from your voice. Let's do it together. Now again, when my voice was really damaged and I had big nodules on my vocal folds, I couldn't do this. I went clunking my way down and all of my highs were gone. So if that's you, please go and see an ENT. Do it slowly and carefully if you're a little strained. Let's try it again. Giggle, smile. Now the interesting thing about this is you can do it really surreptitiously backstage before you go on. It's a great vocal warm up too. If you walk around backstage and make that funny sound, people won't know it's actually from you. Once when I was out the back warming up before a show, the security guard was in the foyer going, couldn't figure out where the sound was coming from. He had no idea because I'm just walking around with a smile on my face doing the siren. Super funny. So that's it. How is your voice feeling now? Is your voice still croaky or does it feel a little freer, a little looser and more relaxed? Let me know in the comments below. Now, if you want another training video that can help you get your voice back faster after you've been sick, then click here to watch it now.